There's little hope for Ugandans intending to invest in multinational telecom company MTN as it remains unclear whether the firm will one day list on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Uh, the message is loud and clear. I'll pass it on to my shareholders. Uh, we're also management of the company, we're not the owners of the company, so we'll definitely pass that message on to our shareholders. And as is known uh, in the rest of our footprint, uh, we have listed in particular markets, I think Ghana, Zambia. Even then, according to the chief executive officer, MTN, Vim van Hopert, localization of shareholding could be undermined by stiff competition from wealthy offshore investors. So listing on the stock exchange is one way of looking at it. It's a, it's a, it's a possibility, although it does not guarantee that that listing, at the end of the day, those shares that are listed end up in local hands because uh, the economy is open. You can also have a lot of foreign investors. And with roughly 54% of the market share, the company has also had its share of spoils with the regulator, as revealed during a public hearing set up by the Uganda Communications Commission this morning. Used provision of public pay telephony services without approval from the Commission. Um, failure to consistently meet quality of service performance indicators issued in 2007, following the end of the exclusivity period. MTN has also utilized short codes without requisite assignment and authorization from the Commission. Whereas the company scored on numerous compliance requirements, such as meeting efficient service targets, the regulator has cautioned the firm to improve on areas of concern, given recent public acquisitions of unfair pricing of data, among others.